Here is a little look at what goes into making a prosthetic. These are the different layers of fabric I use. Uh, so it starts off with a PVA bag to seal the mold. And then the first layer is a flexi stretch nylon, which is a really nice, smooth finish. After that, I'll start out with uh, two layers of eye glass. I twist and reflect most everything, uh, but I don't do a hard twist. I still want the resin to be able to penetrate the knot at the top. And after that initial layer of eye glass, I'll use a carbon fiber braid. I just use a little bit of spray adhesive to tack it in place. Again, not too much adhesive because I don't want it to uh, take the place of the resin. I just want it to stay in place for a moment. After that, I'll use some reinforcements. Uh, one across the bottom where the lock goes and then one across the back of the knee as well as uh, one across the front of the knee. So if you kneel or hit your knee off anything, it won't split the socket. Uh, after that, I'll do another layer of carbon. Uh, every prosthetic's a little different. Some have more nigh glass, some have more carbon. I try to keep everything about six to eight layers thick. And uh, depending on the ways, how much carbon fiber we'll use. Uh, now that we don't see the carbon through the mold, I'll do four more layers of nigh glass and then two flexi stretch nylon over the outside. This just allows the pigment to take place and uh, have the color provided that they want. After the layup's on and secure, I uh, usually just tape down so that it doesn't ride up. Uh, we'll pull the PVA bag on, which this whole time I have soaking in a uh, damp towel. Uh, PVA bags are typically rigid, except for when they become wet, they become a uh, little stretchy. That way we can work it over the mold and it has a nice finish, nice smooth finish on the outside of the leg. There's that stretch. And if we dry it, and once it dries out, it'll become rigid again. So now I just slowly work it down the mold. Make sure I get all the wrinkles out. And we just apply a vacuum. And it's ready for resin. I will add the resin, then I'll laminate it through as I typically do on a video. Uh, not this time though. You'll have to look at another video for that. And then grind it up and I'll have a prosthetic leg like so. Thanks for watching. Any questions, please ask. Doot, 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 doot.